you'll see um, as I go through this talk is that the issue that Adam and Patrick and this team are all uh, confronting and uh, investigating is that uh, the uh, rapid and precise diagnosis of an infecting pathogen currently is inadequate, it's uh, slow and, and imprecise and insensitive. And to improve patient outcomes, that needs to be uh, revolutionised with the genomic approach. Um, I'm going to talk throughout this uh, in a way which is repetitive, but hopefully, uh, uh, sorry, repetitive uh, uh, in that it uh, echoes uh, Adam and, and uh, Patrick's um, uh, discussions so far, but I, I hope we'll just uh, bring some additional clinical uh, perspective to it. So here is the team. Um, you'll see uh, uh, members of the project who uh, come from uh, James Cook University, Australian Institute of Tropical Health and Medicine, and my clinical colleagues from both Townsville Hospital and Health Service and Cairns Hospital and Health Service. And what that uh, identifies, obviously, is that this is a, a crucial um, collaboration between research uh, institutions and uh, health providers. And um, given that this is this uh, disruptive approach to uh, the current um, methods of uh, of identification of, of uh, microbial pathogens and that it has the potential to improve uh, patient outcomes uh, and uh, I'd suggest uh, reduce patient costs in addition to saving lives. This is, has uh, considerable support at all levels of, of hospital administration. So uh, from the cheek chief executive office offices of uh, these two hospital health services, um, colleagues in pathology Queensland, uh, some of whom are shown there, and clinicians both in the emergency department, intensive care units and, and uh, the infectious diseases units, um, uh, one of which I lead at Townsville Hospital. So again, here's the problem. The current uh, approaches to a diagnosis of, of sepsis are slow, inexact, uh, imprecise, and we are left with many cases of uh, patients who present with a severe inflammatory response to infection where a microbial pathogen is, uh, is uh, not identified. And there are numerous um, potential causes for that, and, and, and if one concentrates on bacterial infection, um, blood cultures are uh, central to diagnosis of uh, bloodstream infection. And I can uh, just tell you about four potential reasons why blood cultures may be negative. Maybe uh, that commonly patients have been prescribed antimicrobials prior to presentation to hospital. Uh, an insufficient volume of uh, blood goes into the tube. Um, a a uh, bacterial uh, isolate may not be able to be cultured or, in fact, um, a patient presenting with what looks like sepsis, in fact, doesn't have infection. They may have another severe inflammatory disease. And one of the important examples of that is um, pancreatitis. Um, what this leads to uh, is a frequent use of uh, antimicrobials, which initially are very broad spectrum, and uh, you will appreciate that that's a scenario where, although that's uh, of necessity uh, life-saving, it uh, when um, antimicrobial therapy, empiric antimicrobial therapy is too broad. It's an important driver for the appearance uh, of antimicro of uh, multi-resistant um, organisms. So if that's the global problem, there's actually an additional um, regional context, and that is that 
many of the emergent infections that have uh, appeared in Australia have occurred in Queensland and, and they're listed there. Hendra virus, Batlissa virus, Japanese encephalitis virus has been identified on Cape York. So that's the history, but the future, looking off into the future, uh, in far north Queensland, there's a, a real uh, appreciation of, of uh, the risk, biosecurity risk of uh, introduction of, of uh, further novel pathogens. Uh, and, and so obviously uh, the potential of, of uh, rapid detection of microbial genetic material assembly of, of whole genome sequences is that earlier diagnoses uh, that are more sensitive and specific could be uh, reached. Okay, so here's the minine, and uh, really, I think uh, both Adam and Patrick have said all that uh, is required. Aside from, let me just emphasize that this is the best available technology for rapidly determining uh, genetic sequences that can be assembled into whole genomes. So, what are the um, the uh, what are the outcomes that can uh, lead to a solution of this problem? Well, the uh, uh, minion uh, derived uh, uh, genetic uh, sequences are going to allow for a diagnostic um, approach, which is unbiased. Currently, we look for what we anticipate is the cause of severe infection. So we take blood cultures anticipating that it could be a bloodstream infection. We um, perform tests looking for uh, organisms that can't be grown, like uh, some bacteria or like some viruses. They take a considerable period. Um, the, uh, the use of the minion is going to, or has the potential for identifying any microbial uh, pathogen that exists in a human specimen. And it uh, can rapidly uh, determine um, the phenotype of an organism, uh, identifying a resistance profile, so allow for precise uh, uh, administration of uh, antimicrobials and uh, virulence determinants. But in the longer term, uh, this information uh, will allow for uh, investigation of, of outbreaks with um, uh, highly precise uh, discrimination of, of uh, microbes and uh, other um, information which can be used more for discovery science. That may be a bit of a dirty word in uh, Queensland genomics pr um, projects, but uh, that's uh, certainly possible uh, with this information. So <clears throat> just to uh, crystallize that the, this approach to microbial uh, pathogen diagnosis is faster, more specific and, and uh, more sensitive. Um, the project is ready to go. Uh, we have um, uh, ethics approval and governance approval um, for the Queensland Genomics funded project uh, because pilot studies at both uh, Cairns Hospital Health Service and Townsville Hospital are in place for uh, similar projects which are already funded by uh, the Hot North CRE and um, also by uh, research money from Townsville Hospital. What uh, the Queensland Genomic Funds will be used uh, for then is to uh, um, analyse um, 100 patients uh, presenting to each of uh, Townsville Hospital and Cairns Hospital with sepsis, so with um, specimens taken in the emergency department and directly analysed using minides, so a total of, of 200 patients. And the results from minide will be uh, validated by uh, deep sequencing uh, using the platform you see there. So if that's um, the future, let me just 
finish by giving you a, a current and, and very uh, local context that hopefully you're aware of. So the latest um, natural disaster to uh, be set to Queensland was uh, another climate change induced event, so the unprecedented um, flooding in Townsville. And initially uh, it was perceived that one of the major threats to life were crocodiles that were displaced by floods. But in fact, what has killed patients is an outbreak of melioidosis. And so this kind of uh, approach to rapid diagnosis would certainly have increased the uh, precision of diagnosis and um, uh, allowed for targeted antimicrobial therapy.